Right, well here we are again, but this time with an incredibly special logo. She is absolutely, stunningly amazing. If you can afford to get her, you will not be disappointed. She is the Duchess class City of Manchester in LMS. Basically, a princess coronation, but without the streamlining. Um, you can see just there that this particular model has got the sloped smoke box, which was something um, synonymous with the streamlining, basically, because as the streamlining went over the whole loco, that's what they had to do to make it fit. And then when they took the streamlining off, because it was really hard to keep the loco maintained, they put um, a normal smoke box on again. So. Gosh, just look at her. Let's get her open, shall we? See what she's like. She was a Christmas present, by the way. And I'm only just getting round to um, properly having a look at her. <laughs> I've just been that busy. Right. Now, yeah, it says Duchess class, but it's basically Princess Coronation. Um, The usual how to care for her, where to put the DCC chip, stuff like that, which is all good. Oh yeah, DCC jacket. Okay, so let's let's pop out um, her tender first, actually. Wow, I mean it's only a tender, but. It's excellent. There's a really nice amount of weight to it. Plenty of detail on the back. It even says crew there. Spring-loaded buffers. I think that coal is removable, but I'm not going to try. Let's have a look at the loco herself. Gosh. Okay, some things fell out there, as is usual. Um, first bit of plastering, that's fine. And then some detailing. So here we've got the uh, brake rods for underneath the loco and underneath the tender, uh, along with a coupling, I suppose you could put on the front. Not that she'd ever push anything really, or pull it. But it's there, just in case. So let's put those away. And then have a look at the logo herself. Oh my gosh. Wow. She is incredible. A really good weight. The paintwork is immaculate. Absolutely spot on. The detailing is exquisite. I mean, you've got the handrail there, you've got riveting on the smoke box. Detailing on the front, front-loaded hydraulic buffers. It's a shame they haven't properly detailed the cab. That would have been nice. Let's just get rid of that a little bit of polystyrene. Um, but having said that, it's not a major letdown. It doesn't detract from the overall quality of her. Let's just turn her around. Oh yeah, she's just as nice on the other side. Just as accurate as well. Oh gosh, she's beautiful. I can't wait to put her on the track and have a run of her. What a gorgeous logo. Let's put her on and see what she's like. Okay, here we are at the test track. So let's put her on. I'll put on the main loco first and then her tender. So here she is. Let's just line all those wheels up. Oh, excellent. And then her tender. Wow, just look at her. The length of her, she's massive, and she looks so smart. 
Okay, let's give her a bit of juice and rock her back and forward. God, how smooth. I must point out that the track is really dirty as well. Um, it's not been cleaned for a while. Okay, it's not mega dirty, but you can see that it could do with a clean, definitely. Um, but she runs so beautifully. Just look at that. I mean, that's again about 40% power, if that. But just look how beautifully she runs. I'll go over to meet her at the other side. Watch her go past the level crossing. Here she comes. Oh yeah. She is amazing. Just look at that mechanism. Look how beautiful it moves. She is an incredible level. Let's give her a bit more power. I bet that's no problem. Yeah. She's handling that easily. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I think she's possibly my, my newest favourite loco. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. The detail. The smoothness of the mechanism, the realism. I can't falter. I absolutely can't falter.